Hi everybody, Jill here. I thought we'd do something a little different in this vlog today and start with a relaxing kind of clean with me. I have not done dishes or cleaned my kitchen in probably three or four days. So I have dishes stacked up on the side of my sink. I have pots and pans on the stove. And so I decided, you know, this, this needs to be dealt with. I, I spent a couple days recording and editing, and when I do that, I get really involved and tend to put off my housework. So this morning, I decided I better get caught up. I want to welcome you guys out there who are joining me today and a special welcome to anyone out there who may be joining for the first time. I want to welcome you to my channel and to this really amazing community. You guys are so kind and I appreciate your support so much. I hope you enjoy today's vlog and if you haven't subscribed, I do hope you decide to. So I do actually get to washing those pans and pots that I just put in the sink. But first I wanted to wash the stove down. It was filthy. Just this very same day after dinner, my stove once again was a mess. It just really doesn't take long. I just don't feel like my kitchen is truly clean unless the stove is clean. So I do generally like to clean the stove every night after dinner unless I do what I did and I procrastinate on doing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen. So then I have a big mess to clean up because I didn't do it for three days. And then I looked up and realized, my goodness, the backsplash of my entire area there above the stove was really gross. And then I started looking around. I really need to clean the backsplash through my entire kitchen. Oh my gosh, you guys, I discovered these glass wipes and I'm going to put a link to them down below in the description area because I found them on Amazon and it comes even with a microfiber cloth which I have a ton of anyway and that's the key and the secret to this is you really have to wash it off well wipe it off with a microfiber towel before it dries off and oh my gosh I've been using it on everything they work so good
And then I looked at the side of my oven and my goodness, it was so gross. I have a very large cat and there was cat hair on the side like you wouldn't believe. And I'm so, oh, I cannot believe that I have not looked there before. But it's clean now and I guess that's all that matters. And then there's little Loki. He's, he's my little buddy here. I had to, that blanket there on the back of my couch, it's not the prettiest of things, but my little Loki likes to lay up there and he also likes to do handstand peas outside. So his little belly is usually icky and I don't like that getting on my furniture. So I have one where he likes to lay. I have a towel where he likes to lay on the arm of the couch and you can even see a blanket on the back of my little green chair back there because he likes to look outside the window and get on that so yes i do wipe down his belly a lot of the times with you know to just right when he comes in the house but there are many times when i don't do that so i have to change those out pretty often that little turd he is the perfect little dog he really is the most amazing little boy, but those handstand peas, hoy, ha ha, I wish he would just forget how to do those. And there's my big girl. There's my baby girl. She is a ragdoll cat. Some of you may remember when I very first got her. I wasn't going to get a coffee table in this house to make it easier for my husband to kind of roll up to the couch and obviously use it. But I couldn't stand it. I missed having a coffee table. I love decorating, so it's just this prime surface that I missed having. Talked to the husband, and he said, yeah, we can, you know, as long as it's not too big and we can kind of move it a little further out from the couch. And I am loving them. This little side table, and there's one that's matching on the other side of the couch, is just kind of this perfect size. I absolutely love them. look at this <laughs> that's buddy he is my little helper so I am thrilled with them all right I'm coming back from sorry you could probably hear the air conditioning in the background um, but I'm coming back from Home Depot just finished cleaning the kitchen and the living room uh, didn't get to my bedroom but it's going to get a little warm here this weekend and I did purchase two big air conditioning, portable air conditioning units from Amazon last week. We have actually one really nice portable. We have several wall, I mean um, window ones, but my really bad experience with our movers, they just kind of threw everything in our garage and I have no idea where they are and it would take us basically gutting the garage to find them and as sad as it is that I have to buy it's really disgusting actually they they were horrible we've we've only had one other experience we've always moved ourselves but because of my husband's health failing the first time we ever hired movers was the move prior to this one where we ended up selling and moving here and it was a great experience. I don't know why I didn't, well, I don't think they work over, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't seek them out again. I really don't. 
because these people that moved us this here were absolutely, it was a terrible experience. Anyway, I'm not going to suffer, so I did get two units. I need one in my bedroom, and I'm not sure one is gonna do it in our main living space because that's the majority of our square footage, and it's just very large and open and vaulted ceilings and skylights. My son will need one in his window, and I will need one in my recording room. Even if I choose not to record until it cools down, Chances are we're gonna get warmer weather before this year is up. But on top of that, I need to keep my equipment from overheating. I have a lot of expensive equipment in my recording room and it scares me. And not to mention a ton of makeup that would melt. I mean, it, I can see it getting really warm in our house. And I did get a quote to, we have central heating in the ductwork and everything. So I had no idea installing an AC unit was going to be as much as it was because I had a quote. I had him come out and give me a quote on that. It was twelve thousand something dollars after discounts and whatnot. Um, I'm like, yeah, we cannot do that. So we're going to have to survive with our AC units. All right, I'm home. I got this reflective stuff to put on the walls. I mean, the windows and stuff that will keep the sun and whatnot out. You know how when you hook up these, you usually have to seal up part of the, the window and whatnot, so. Okay, I'm gonna get that done before I poop out because it is already 2.30 in the afternoon and I am already getting pooped out. So it's time for my second cup of coffee. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you very soon. Well, it's not pretty, but I got both of them hooked up. This one's in my bedroom and the other one is in the family room doing their job. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.